guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at the parsing a boolean expression problem which is from lead code number 1106 we will be looking at the optimal approach another problem that you can solve after this would be basic calculator 1 and basic calculator 2 let's now look at the problem statement in this problem a boolean expression is an expression that evaluates to either true or false it can be in, a, in one of the following shapes so you can be given t for true f for false then you can have a logical not followed by a sub expression then you can have an and followed by n number of sub expression where n will be greater than equals to 1 you can have an or operator followed by n number of sub expression again n will be greater than equals to 1 given a string expression that represents a boolean expression return the evaluation of that expression so we need to do expression evaluation here it is guaranteed that the given expression is valid and follows the given set of rules now if you look at the constraint before solving the problem you will see that the expression length is 2 times of 10 to the power of 4 so definitely the n square algorithm will be 4 into 10 to the power of 8 operations which is greater than 10 to the power 8 so it will not run within one second and definitely you should not do it by n square algorithm now let's look at an example for better understanding let's say that you are given f for false t for true three operators logical not logical and and or operator now uh, in this case if the input expression is shown here then uh, we need to do expression evaluation on top of it so which one do you think will be evaluated first if you think it carefully and logically then you will find that tft will be evaluated first and side by side this t will also be evaluated at the same time so this true false true will be evaluated using the and operator and the output will be false this t will be evaluated by the not operator and the output will be false as well it will be flipping the bit now again you get false comma false and now this will be evaluated by the or operator and false or false will become false therefore the answer should be false in this case right so i hope you understood the problem statement if you closely observe the problem then the lowest level bracket has to be evaluated first and then comes the higher level bracket right so in this case we need to keep saving the entire expression unless we see a closing bracket then only we will uh, operate on the lowest level bracket right so we will follow the same strategy of expression evaluation and we will be parsing from left to right and we will be keeping the operators and the operand separately so whenever i see an operator i will be storing it into an operator stack and when i see an opening bracket i will be just pushing it into the operand stack because the opening bracket will help you set a demarcation line how many uh, operands to be picked for the current operation okay we will see this in the example let's say that again we see an operator so it will be pushed into the operator stack again we see an opening bracket will be pushed into the operand stack now the next character is true so this true has to be pushed on top of the operand again the commas are just the separator so you have to skip that when you see a false then it will be pushed on top of the operand again the comma has to be skipped when you look at the true it will be coming to the top of the operand stack right after this when you look at a closing bracket then the closing bracket must be having an opening bracket on the left side because all the expressions are valid so if you search for the opening bracket we can just pop out all the items and and operate using the given operator so what is the operator right now it is and so take it out and we will perform logical and so right so we need to perform logical and on all the sub expressions which are present inside the bracket so how to know what all are present inside the bracket what we will do is for our calculation we will be assigning an answer variable and whenever there is a logical end to be done the, log the answer variable will start with a true now take out the operator you know it is logical end and that is why you assigned answer equals to true after this you have to take out the operand one by one and perform logical end on the answer so true ended with true will be equals to true okay now take out the next one false ended with true ended with true will be equals to false then true ended with false will be equals to false again right and then we are seeing an opening bracket so pop this opening bracket when you see an opening bracket that means this is the stopping point of the current expression run now whatever answer you had calculated will be pushed into your operand stack so that it can be calculated with the other sub expressions now when we move forward the comma will be skipped and you will see a not operator it will be pushed into the operator stack when we uh, move forward we see an opening bracket will be pushed into the operand stack 
when we see a true then the true will also be pushed into the operand stack now when you see a closing bracket now in this case you have to take out the entire expression until an opening bracket is taken out so what is the operation that you are performing it is a logical not operator right therefore you will just have a single entity for logical not we do not apply logical not for multiple entities so by this you know that your answer can be assigned to the top of the stack which is true and you just take it out and definitely you cannot have more than one for the logical not and you can remove the opening bracket as well now perform the logical not on this true and this will become false and push this false back into the operand stack so i hope you have understood why are we pushing the brackets into the operand stack to find out what is the size of the expression on which the current operator will be operating and why didn't we push the opening bracket in the operator stack because whenever we see a closing bracket we cannot have more than one operator okay so if you if you know that the closing bracket corresponds to only one operator then just take out the top of the stack and you are done okay but in the operand stack uh, you can have more than one operands so you have to see where you will be ending your uh, sub expressions you can have one sub expression or 100 sub expression as well so the opening bracket is important there right after this you see another opening bracket this means that whatever is the operator you have to take out first so the or is the operator so if or is operator then our answer will start at false because if i see at least one true then the answer will be converting to true otherwise it will be false only so i'll be taking out the or operator fine and then i will be taking out the sub expressions one by one so you take out this false or false will be false again you take out the next one okay false or false will be false again right and there is no other expression so an opening bracket is seen and you will just remove it okay and now the expression answer false will be pushed back into the operand stack now we are done parsing this entire expression my operator stack will definitely be empty my operand stack at the end will only have exactly one value and this is my answer which is equals to false in this problem you just need to understand about why we took operator and operand stack because we wanted to separate out the operators and operand why we pushed the opening bracket only in the operand stack because the sub expression size can be more than one why we didn't uh, put the opening bracket in the operator stack because when i see a closing bracket i just need to operate with one operator so just take out the top of the operator stack and the next thing to understand about the operators is whenever i was trying to do logical or so if you are doing or between multiple sub expression a b c d then the initial default value that you start must always be false you cannot start with true if you start with true it will always be true as an answer right so you should start with false when it is about the end end operator then you should always start at true because if you start with the false then no matter if a b c d are true it will always end up with false right and for the logical not operator you just need to see the top of the stack because there has to be exactly one sub expression okay logical not is not applied on multiple sub expression so i hope you have got the entire understanding of this approach with stack the time complexity is order of n because we are doing only one time parsing and pushing and popping on top of the stack then uh, the space complexity is order of n due to the stack let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the expression and we will take the operator and the operand stack operator is a reserved keyword so you cannot use it in c plus plus the java and the python code will be in the link in the description below so you can check it out uh, the index will start with zero and we will just be doing the parsing while doing the parsing if i see any of the operator not and or then i will be pushing it into the operator stack if i see the sub expression as true or false then i will be pushing it into the operand stack if i see an opening uh, uh, bracket then also i will be pushing it into the operand stack so i have written them separately you can write it together just to make it more readable if you see an uh, closing bracket then you, we need to evaluate because uh, some number of sub expressions needs to be evaluated with one operator i'll show you that code as well 
and after all the things are done for every character we need to just go to the next character so you see i have not given anything for the separator comma and uh, that means the comma will always be skipped right at the end after doing the evaluation we have to just return the top of the operand stack the operand will finally have exactly one value right so in the evaluate code we will get the operator and the operand stack we will take out the top of the operator stack which is the operator with which we will be performing all the operations and i will just remove it then i will take a boolean answer and depending on what type of operator i am seeing i will have different type of operation so if i am starting with logical or then my answer will start with false because if you start with true the answer will always be true and i will be uh, popping one item after another from the operand stack until i see an opening bracket and after having uh, done that i will be popping up the top of the operand stack which is for popping the opening bracket and finally i will be pushing back the answer on top of the operand stack depending on if it is true or false right the same thing will be done for the logical and but the only thing is we will be starting at true because if you start at false for and then you will end up with false always right and for a uh, logical not operator you know that there will be exactly one sub sub expression on top that is operand dot top so just take the top item assign it to the answer and just negate it so just perform uh, a flip on that and uh, simply pop out the items right and uh, this is the entire code for parsing a boolean expression i hope you were able to understand this if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you